What's going on fam? We are here on a lunch uh, carbong and we are going to be eating here at Tio Pepe. That is. It is a downtown food establishment, Mexican food here in town. Here is the front here. It is an old brick building. Y'all need to check it out. One of my favorite Mexican places in downtown. You know, Stockton is so unique for their Mexican food. We're on the corner of Lindsay and Hunter. All right, see you guys in a minute. What's going on, y'all? So here we are, about to have our lunch. Um, went to Tio Pepe's. Uh, it is a restaurant in downtown Stockton, a Mexican restaurant. And I always tell people, you have not had um, Mexican food until you've had Stockton type of Mexican food. I know, you know what's funny? Is when I moved to Los Angeles for school, I started eating Mexican food there. I was like, why is Mexican food so different? But you know, every region is gonna be different. This is Tio Pepe's, guys. It's in downtown. So I'll do a little car bomb here. They have, they serve breakfast and they have uh, lunch specials as you can see lunch specials and they have Tio Pepe specials I got a lunch special today guys no I didn't I'm lying I got a, a Tio Pepe special a two two item combo plate um, all rice no beans um, and I'll show you what I got so first things first this is their taco their beef taco, I love their tacos. It's like Dorado style, if you guys can see here. There you go. It is like this and it's crispy. Oops, I'm dropping stuff and it has like chunks of beef in there, not ground beef or asada steak or anything like that. And then I also got Let's try out my napkin. Got a fork ready to go. Also got my chicken enchilada. Now how they make their um, enchiladas, guys, is not just enchilada sauce, but they actually put a, a great, oh, can they place this better? A gravy on top, there you go. So there's a gravy on top with some cheese and of course some lettuce and some rice. My mouth is watering because it's so, this is so good. This is what that gravy looks like, y'all. Look at that, mmm. Tio Pepe, look at that. Look at all that light. Oh no, don't spill. Let's take our first bite here. Mmm. Oh my God, it's so good. So some of the old Stockton downtown restaurants pretty much are pretty similar as far as like the way the food is made. Mmm. But this one is my favorite one. Because <clears throat> the way the gravy tastes. It has a really good chicken gravy. Like chicken Mexican style gravy. And an enchilada sauce on top of that. Baby. It is so good. Look at all that. Hope everyone is doing okay. California is experiencing like some county lockdowns right now. As, excuse me, as far as eating in restaurants and and bars and stuff like that. So unfortunately, my county is on that list, so we can't eat in restaurants again. I think the order is only for three weeks. I think we're in week going into week two by the time you guys see this hopefully it's lifted but there have been some increased cases here in San Juan in my county mm. what takes you to the taco I know some people some states are like mandating masks now it's like we are four months into this pandemic and now you want to mandate masks hmm so 
It is what it is. <clears throat> Here's that taco again, y'all. And they give us this little salsa. There's two, I got two of them this time. But the salsa is good. It's a homemade salsa. It's not too spicy at all. I think the best part of the salsa is that it's very fresh tasting. Like, you know, you know how tomatoes, when you have fresh tomatoes, it's really, you can taste the, the freshness, I guess, of any food. That kind of salsa. Oh. Mmm. -mm. Yeah. Mmm. It's all good. Mm. I wish it was crispier, but that's all right. It's good. So in this area, <clears throat> make sure to check out Teal Pepe's. The hours are different now because of the whole pandemic but around lunchtime around 12 o'clock it gets pretty busy well now with no seating again I don't know when they reopened again and allowed people to sit um it was pretty packed mm. There's a cheese in there that is so good. So mom, look at that. Okay. So I hope you guys are enjoying our, our series. You've probably seen about four or five videos already. <laughs> I didn't even print, you know, formally announce it, but it's our NorCal Bites series for the summer. And they're primarily going to be car bombs, guys, because, you know, I like we get inside a restaurant. <clears throat> and I haven't done a mukbang in the house in a while, so I'll start those off again in a couple months. But for now, they are going to be car bombs, guys. Story time and car bombs, huh? Look at that. Mm. So good. I'm very picky about my refried beans. That's why I didn't order refried beans from here. There's only a couple places where I really enjoy the refried beans. I don't really like it here. Look at that piece of chicken, y'all. It's hella big. Mmm. I'm just quiet over here eating. Mmm. 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 I'm already getting full. Let's wrap to this taco. Air conditioning is running. We are expecting hundreds again. <clears throat> Starting tomorrow. It's a Friday right now. But we are expecting hundreds for the next four days. With the hottest being on a Sunday. 104. I'm done with summer, y'all. I 
I'm done with that one. But I can't say that. Wow, I can't believe a whole six months have already gone by of 2020. I mean, it's been crazy. It's been a off the off the hook year. But I gotta remember guys, we gotta be grateful. Give gratitude for the things we do have and that we have control in. Never take for granted the good things that are happening, you know? And oftentimes, you know, we see things that are happening on the media and what they're telling us and it's hard to stay away from some of that general stuff that happens in, in, in life, but you have to give gratitude, I think. It's important to give gratitude to the things that are good that are happening in your life. Count those blessings. Um, always. And always, you know? Mm. So, <clears throat> that is my message. <laughs> That's my message for this carbon, guys, is just give gratitude to all the good things that we have. Try not to worry of the things that we don't have, right? So give gratitude to your higher power, to your God, to your Jesus, to your deity, who you believe in. Um the universe really works in mysterious ways guys and I think when we live in gratitude we start to understand that it's not the stuff that we don't have that's missing that we need to power our energy from but rather give power to that of what we already have and it makes us feel lighter in our in our spirit and our soul so enough about that philosoph philosophical stuff I'm eating with my mouth I'm talking with my mouth full and I always get like this right when I'm about to end my <clears throat> my car bomb my mouth starts to get Dry. Anyway, got my water. Y'all had not had this amazing alkaline water that's at Costco. Shout out to Costco for this alkaline water. It's a really good water. It really balances the acidic stuff that I eat throughout the day. So. <clears throat> things that turn my body acidic is neutralized by the alkaline water that I drink throughout the day so all right y'all don't forget to like comment share subscribe muchas gracias <laughs> we'll see you guys on the next one bye y'all